trademark. How could I know? Let's talk about this. Hi, my name is Martis. I make daily video about business, legal, and intellectual property. What is intellectual property? Think about trademark, copyright, and other intellectual property. In this video, I want to talk about how could you know there was trademark on something. It's important to understand how the trademark system works or how the intellectual property property system works. I'm going to show it to you. Uh, I'm going to show you, and I'm also explain to you why. You need to watch out for certain kind of things when you talk about some companies or other things of other people. So if you look at trademark, uh, we have, the, or let's say I have an ABC formula and this formula I use it with every intellectual property system. It works every time the same. You always need to think about, okay, you have A, B, and see in my videos about copyright I talk about this you can also use this for trademark and what you need to know is when you have a you have the mark the trademark so if I register the trademark I have the trademark that's a and B I'm the trademark holder so the person or the company that's B it can be the person that can also be a company so it can be I or it can also be C for company same apply for C but what is C C is the person that wants to use your trademark, wants to use your trademark. Think about someone that um, is asking you permission to use the trademark or someone use your trademark without your position. Sometimes, the reason why we make this is sometimes the law limits the rights that you have here. Or sometimes you have two or three um, person that are um, trademark holders. That's also something you need to consider. And sometimes you have multiple people that use your trademark without permission. That's why we need to separate those three things and to look what is the position and what can we do and what can we not do. So the question is, trademark, how, how could I know? If you ask yourself that question, that means you are C and you use someone's trademark without the permission. So you are C, someone else trademark, you use it without the permission. The question is, how could I know? Another thing is, for every trademark, they are registered in a database. You can just find out what kind of trademark it is and who the trademark holder is. That's simple. If you look at copyright, you don't have that because it's difficult to find. So if you look at trademark, you need to register your trademark in order to get one. That's why you have a database that everyone can uh, get to. The simple. I will show you where you can look at the database, but in another video, I will also explain to you how the database works and how you can find that. But it's important for now that you understand when you try to use someone else's trademark, you need to look at the database, look in the database what kind of trademark they have for what kind of goods or services they have the trademark for it. Because how could I know? People expect you to look at it in the database because it's free, you can open it, you can look at it, do your research. The thing is, um, sometimes the law limits the right of some person, but it doesn't always protect C. So it doesn't always protect you. So what you need to do is, you need to look up in the database who's the copyright holder and what kind of trademark uh, they have. What kind of class are they registered for? Because if you use someone's trademark without the permission, it can get um, it can give you some problems and you don't want that so how could I know you can check out in the database I will make another video about um, how database work and how you can look some trademark up but you can look in the database sometimes the law limits the rights of the trademark but sometimes you can also get permission from let's say you have two copyright holders a and B so we have here a and B one is giving you permission to use it and B is saying, hey, you're not allowed to use it, but you already have permission. So you don't have to worry about that. So you don't have to yeah, answer that question, but because you already have permission. But what you need to remember is how could I know? Just look in the trademark um, database and you can look it up. I'll make a separate video about that and how that works. If you have a question about trademark or if you have a question about other things about trademark, 
feel free to let me know if you're new to this channel subscribe and if you have questions let me know in the comments or on the discord i will see you in the next video